exact weight when he defeated Tim Sylvia. The bell in round number one. Arlovsky, 6'4", 237, he's 29 years old. Scheduled for five five-minute rounds. John McCarthy, our referee. Both in the black trunks, Arlovsky in the longer black trunks. Arlovsky starting off with that leg kick, and it's a good strategy. He's trying to take the, oh, good right hand by Arlovsky. Fedor took a step back. Now Emelianenko with the left hand, swinging and missed by Arlovsky. Let me tell you, when Arlovsky goes for this kick, as a wrestler myself, when a guy kicks, I'm gonna shoot. You know, uh, Arlovsky very tight with his hands. Fedor tends to keep his hands comparatively low. I don't know if that's a good idea in this fight. Fedor, uh, Arlovsky very fast, very powerful puncher. Inside kick with the left by Arlovsky. Arlovsky throw that, that left kick and follow the right hand and left hook. That's usually his best combination that I've seen him throw. Billy Minko loading up the right hand and missing with the right. Yep. Arlovsky very confident with the strike, standing in front of Fedor, who's a very powerful puncher. Outside kick that time by Arlovsky. Good strategy by Arlovsky. Take away that lead leg. Not using a lot of footwork, though. Again, Emelianenko missing with the right, then missing with the left. Arlovsky needs to get his back off the ring. He needs to take a circle. You know, Arlovsky he throws looping punches right there. You see that? Arlovsky doing a good job of countering those loopy punches with short, short strikes of his own. Arlovsky going for the outside trip. Brilliantly defended by the world heavyweight champion. I don't think it's a good idea to clinch with Fedor. He's on the ground. I think he's the most, one of the most dangerous fighters in the world. I think Arlovsky's best chance is standing up. It seems like he's doing well with the strikes. You've got to be you got to understand, actually, Olaski is a sambo wrestler himself, and he does lots of wrestling, so he's going to defend the shot, use knee strikes position, because that's one of his dominant positions, is being on his feet. But if he can stop the takedown for Fyodor, he's going to have a lot of success on his feet. Villianenko showing great patience. Has an incredible tactical mind. One thing about Fedor, a lot of people don't give him credit. He's a very intelligent, very articulate guy. Extremely smart. He does not rush into anything. That's why he has that ice cold demeanor. He's a thinking man's fighter. And, uh, you know, positions like this to slow the fight down are no problem with him. Credit Andre Arlovsky. He has not been overwhelmed. See, so his composure here. That's a great job by John McCarthy to restart them, get it out, because they were just going to hang out there. Let's see what Fedor can do in the center of the ring. I think Arlovsky's getting a little better at the striking so far. Halfway through round number one. Again, scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Fedor can't throw those looping punches like that against Arlovsky. He's going to get him faster, just like that right there. Nice right hand by Arlovsky. Very tight, very straight, just like they teach in boxing. I think maybe for the first time in his career, Fedor's a little flustered now by the speed of Arlovsky. Arlovsky missing with that right hand. Let me tell you, Olaski at 6'4 with that length. Oh, good right. 